Hey, 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 Richard Blissbrook here, coming to you from Grapevine, Texas, Dallas area. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Here's what we're going to talk about tonight. Do you and I ever do things we don't want to do? Do we ever do things out of discipline or commitment? Do we ever do things we don't want to do? Hey, Jared. So, <clears throat> all right, I got to tell you the story about this because I don't know what you're seeing on the screen, but what I'm seeing on the screen is me in a hat with sunglasses. Now, I'm going to tell you the God's honest truth. I did not intentionally push any buttons that put sunglasses and a hat on my head. I'm just setting up my phone for this live and I look on my phone and I can't believe it. it looks like, do I have a hat on? Do I have sunglasses on? So then sometimes it's not there. Do you notice that? Like, I don't know. I can make it go off craziest thing must be some kind of special effects goofball thing on the phone <clears throat> I did not design it this way but I'm going with it because it must be destiny that I put a hat on and big sunglasses for this live so anyway I'm this is a short live tonight I just want to talk about doing things we want, don't want to do and I'm going to use the example uh, tonight I'm going to work out and you know, um, I don't want to work out tonight. I had a long day. And, uh, you know, I think I'd just rather curl up in bed and, you know, watch a movie or something. I've been working all day. And uh, I don't want to work out tonight. But I'm going to work out tonight. But you know what the last thing is I want to do tonight? The last thing is I want to do is work out. That's the last thing I want to do. But I'm going to work out anyway. So I don't know. Do you have those kind of dilemmas in your life? Like is the last thing you want to do is maybe pick up the phone or get on your computer and message somebody and say, Hey, <laughs> what do you think about watching my video? <laughs> is that the last thing you want to do? But so uh, then I guess the question is, do you do it or not? So here's what I have to say about the rhetoric that we all use in our head about we're doing things that we don't want to do and the last thing we want to do is work out. Now I told you just a minute ago, I'm going to work out tonight. And I also told you it's the last thing I want to do tonight. So which is it? Is it the last thing I want to do tonight? Or is it actually the last thing I want to do tonight? Do I not want to work out tonight? Or do I want to work out tonight? Which is it? Think about it. So let's say that the only reason that you're going to do something is because you have the discipline to do it. You know, a professional is somebody that does what they say they're going to do even if they don't feel like doing it. Well, if you do it, out of discipline or commitment or whatever the rhetoric. Oh, look, see if I put my hands up. Oh, look, it went away. Does the hat and glasses go away when I move my hands over my face? Crazy thing. I don't know what it is. Somebody tell me what it is. So if you're only doing something because you're disciplined to do it, do you want to do it or not? If you're only doing something because you're committed to do it, are you doing it because you want to do it or are you doing it because you're committed to doing it? Which one is it? Working out the last thing I want to do tonight? Actually, the last thing I want to do tonight is fall asleep. <laughs> That's the last thing I want to do tonight. I actually want to fall asleep as the last thing tonight. But before I fall asleep tonight, I'm going to work out. Do I want to work out? No. I'm going to work out anyway. 
So do I want to work out? <laughs> do you get it? Are you getting it? Are you getting it? So here's the point of all this. You know what? We can whine and complain to ourselves about the idea of doing the thing that we need to do every day. Yeah, there's some pain involved. Like, gosh, you know what? Is it fun to work out? Well, sometimes, but not tonight. Tonight's not going to be fun. Do I want to work out tonight? Yeah. So do I actually want to do something that's not fun? Yeah, I do. Why do I want to work out tonight? Well, it's simple, you know, I just don't want to turn into like, you know, the ultimate blob. That's why I want to work out tonight. So, you know, I may have a lot of rhetoric about I'm tired and it's not going to be fun and it's going to be painful and blah, 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 blah. But I'm either going to work out tonight or I'm not. And the only thing that's going to make the difference about whether I work out tonight or not is whether I want to. And whether I'm motivated to. You know, we can get all deep into, like, I'm creating a vision about working out tonight. Part of why I'm doing the live tonight on working out is to put myself in a box to work out. Like, I'm, like, creating this motive. Like, I, I want to live up to your expectations. So the last thing I can do tonight is not work out because I told you I'm going to work out. So, you know, I, I think we get these things like really complicated and we get into all these, you know, uh, pop psychology about it and maybe we just forget the simplicity of why do you and I do the things that we do? Do, the, do we do them because we want to do them? Do we do them? We don't want to do them, but we do them anyway, but doesn't that mean we want to do them? We do them out of discipline. So is it the discipline that's having us do it or do we just want to do it and discipline is a way to describe doing something you want to do but you're whining about it? I don't know. Same thing about commitment. You know, it reminds me of a story I've told some of you before uh, about one of my coaches, Lou Tice, told me this story. I think I told you the story just a couple weeks ago, but maybe some of you weren't on. And it's about a track coach. And, you know, the cool thing about coaches is they ask, you and I to do things that on our own initiative, we, not, we may not be managing the conversation such that we actually want to do it. We may w want to do it, but we also have this conversation that doesn't want to do it. So which, which is it? You know, you've all heard that uh, American uh, Indian philosophy, you know, folklore story about um, you know, the medicine man telling the young kids, you know, in each of us there are two wolves, the good wolf and the bad wolf. The bad wolf doesn't want to work out. The good wolf wants to work out. And which wolf wins the war? Dot, dot, dot. If you put it in the comments, you get an apple from the teacher. You got two wolves inside. One's a bad wolf. One's a good wolf. The bad wolf doesn't want to work out. The bad wolf wants to whine and complain and undermine. The bad wolf is the devil. And the good wolf is the spirit. And which one wins the battle? And so before I tell you what the medicine man said, Ah, Sarah Curtis gets the apple. So does Rose. Yay. <laughs> So does Susie. <laughs> so does Amy. <laughs> I love you guys. You're awesome. So smart, right? <clears throat> so, you know, uh, with the track coach, uh, back to the story. So you got the track coach. You got the guy, you know, he, what, what do you want? Oh, where'd my hat go? Do you notice that when I, if I spin my arm around that hat and sunglasses go off. So this uh, track star, he wants to win the biggest race of all. You know, that's his goal. That's his vision. That's his commitment. That's what he's disciplined to. Blah, 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 blah. That's his whole story. So it's the day of the big race. And, you know, round and round and round and round he goes. And, you know, about three quarters of the way through the race, he peels off into the inner field and he takes a knee. And the race is going on. The coach comes running over and he says, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
The track star says, oh, I can't. It's so hard. I'm in so much pain. Basically, what is he saying? I don't want to. So what does the coach say? Brilliant coaching move. Coach says, okay, let's go. Walk back with me. Just quit. What does the track star say? Oh, no, I can't. Where did my hat go? Oh, no, I can't quit. I want to be the best track star in the world. One second he wants to, the other second he doesn't want to. So what does the coach tell him? If you remember the story, type it up in the comments. What does the coach tell the track star who's whining about how much it hurts and how much he doesn't want to run and how much he doesn't want to train and all that? What does the coach tell him? I don't want to do it. There's too much pain. I want to do it because I want to be the greatest. Anybody got the answer? What does the coach tell him? I'll give you five seconds, then I'm going to tell you what the answer is. Come on, Facebook. Speed it up. Coach tells him, no, close, Hannah. Same thing. Such it up. <laughs> Suck it up, Michelle. Such it up. <laughs> Well, in this story, those are all the same things, but in this story, the words the coach uses is, then shut up and run. And so that's my message tonight, you know, is we can either do things or not do things. You know, you say you can't do something. You say you can't talk to one person a day about your opportunity. You don't know who to talk to. You don't know what to say to them. You don't know what to do with your whole self-esteem and your psycho balance if they say no. And I say, well, what if I give you $500 to talk to one person a day? And you go, oh, well, <laughs> then I know who to talk to. Then I know what to say. Then I don't handle the rejection just fine if you're giving me $500. So you get the point of all that. It's like, wow, we are just so masterful at the BS of the putting ourselves in this like I want to I don't want to I don't know how I know how I can do it I can't do it we got those two wolves going on inside and so no matter how you go about doing it you know what I say is just boil it down to this figure out what you want figure out what you want and you know there's this there's this big dilemma around what we want is you got to find out with some clarity, do you want the long-term gains of whatever your game is? Do you want the long-term gains more than you want the short-term conveniences or pleasures? We want both, right? I want to just curl up in bed tonight and avoid working out. I want that. Do I want that more than I want the long-term gains? Well, some days I do. <laughs> yeah, how about you? <laughs> do you some days? So there it is. Lies right there. Which do we want? Which do we want more? And so you might say, well, how do, how do I want something more than the other thing. Like, what if I want the short-term gains more than I want, want the, the short-term pleasures more than I want the long-term gains? Well, just think about the two wolves, okay? So you got one wolf who's, he's, he, you know, he's like whispering in your ear, hey, let's just curl up on the couch. Hey, let's just watch TV. Hey, let's just go for a walk. Let's, let's not call anybody. Hey, let's, you know, organize our paper clips. Let's get our, hey, let's troll Facebook. Hey, let's see if we can get some new friends added on Facebook. You know, that's that, that's that wolf who is asking to be fed. And so we feed that wolf. When we feed that wolf, we bring this other uh, component into what we want, and that is what we see ourselves doing. So the more you entertain the conversation about curling up on the bed, yeah, you want to curl up on the bed, but the more you entertain the conversation, the more the f you feed that wolf, the more you find you're just, yourself just curling up on the bed before you even know it. 
And the more you feed the conversation of the wolf who says, hey, let's work out. Let's work out every day, you know? It doesn't take that much time. You know, some, some, I, somebody, we could add it up, you know? What if you just worked out 10 minutes a day? 10 minutes a day, 365 days a year? That's like 3,650 minutes, right? <laughs> That's a lot of working out in a year, and it's only 10 minutes a day. And so, you know, what's that, what is that conversation? That's feeding the wolf that wants you to get in shape. That's feeding the vision of you getting in shape. And the more you feed that wolf, the more you're going to find yourself working out. And I'm only doing this live so I can watch it and get motivated myself. I'm not doing it for any of you. You're probably all in shape. But you know what? We apply it to all areas of our life. So whatever it is you want to do, just figure out what the two wolves are and what are they whispering at you. And then just decide which one do you want to feed. You want to feed the one that's going to give you the short-term pleasure? Or you want to feed the one that's going to give you the long-term game? And you know what? There's no judgment in that. There's no, nobody should be telling you what you should want. You know? You, you know, Nobody should tell any of us that we should get in shape. That we shouldn't do anything other than what we want. You don't want to be in shape? I don't want to be in shape? Fine, don't be in shape. You know, there's consequences, but we get those with the short-term comforts, right? We make the choice. We get the consequences or the payoffs. Nobody should tell us what, you, what we should want. We shouldn't tell anybody else what they should want. We should just figure out what we should want and who are the two wolves in the conversation and figure out which one we're going to feed, right? And follow that vision. And then get down and give me 30, which is what I'm going to do. I thought about doing it in front of you, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I thought that would be kind of, I don't know, you know. <clears throat> so that's what I have to tell you tonight. 